Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be on revolver speed strips and speed loaders. As you can see, I have a bunch of speed strips loaded. Better flip that around so you can read it. Of course, they come in all sorts of calibers now. 22, 357, uh, 45, Colt, 410, all the good stuff. So I mainly want to make this because I recently made the Is 5 Rounds Enough? And someone mentioned that I should carry one of these because I did mention I do not carry a, a speed strip because I wasn't proficient enough. And of course I will be practicing more and more. But what I also wanted to bring up is I will be buying another speed loader. It will look just like this with this one you have to twist it and then they fall free but with the the safari land one is you just push it into the cylinder and it drops free I believe has something to do with with this portion that holds the ammo not sure but that's something to be looking forward to as a as a FFL 03 or CNR I am eligible for discounts on Brownells and I can save three or four dollars just on the speed loader so instead of paying thirteen seventy five it'll be under ten bucks and I also plan on getting a new grip for my GP100 so you can definitely check out some new grips in the future when I get around to buying it have a few financial things to deal with right now but other than that speed loaders there is a couple kinds. There's this kind, and then there's the tough strips, so, or the quick tough, tough, tough. I think it's just tough products. T U F F. Anyway, speed strips. These are good. I do, like I said in the other video, I do use them. I just don't carry them because one, they aren't heavy, and they're not bulky by any means. It's just the my the way I dress just doesn't allow for it because of the other stuff I carry on my person at all times I'm trust me I'm working on it a little at a time eventually get it but anyway that's about it just wanted to do a quick video talking about what to come like the new speed loader I'll be getting um, and that I, I will be practicing and I just wanted to kinda make a response to that viewer about me actually using them because I do use them just I don't carry them I don't feel comfortable having them for their intended purposes yeah they're good for holding ammo but if I'm just gonna rip them out and put them in the cylinder if I had to reload if hopefully I would never have to reload or use my gun to begin with but I'm still working on using them as they're intended Alright, um, I'm done rambling now. I appreciate you watching. Check out my blog in the description. And I will catch you next time.